Now, we want to talk about the Tennessee Titans versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. And uh, and what I want to talk about in this game is, I, I just don't know how the Pittsburgh Steelers do it. I'm going to be very frank with you guys. I'm going to be frank, and I don't know how this take is going to go because I'm confused, just like how most people are confused about the Pittsburgh Steelers. I don't even know how to go with this take because I don't know how the hell they win games, bro. I really don't understand how to win game. Big Ben is old. He could barely, he can't move. He gets sacked like five times a game. He throws picks. He fumbles. It's like, I don't get it, bro. I don't get it, man. I look up. Pittsburgh is down like 10 points in the first quarter, first half, every single Sunday. Every single Sunday, and then the fourth quarter happens, and like something freaking happened. I'm like, the defense start getting um, sacks. The defense getting turnovers. They're getting interception. They're getting strip sacks. I'm like, who who are the Pittsburgh Steelers, man? Like, I can't, I don't even know. I, I don't even know. That, I don't know. I don't know who the Pittsburgh Steelers are right now. But one thing I do know is, defensively, we know who the Pittsburgh are. Who, who they've always been historically, and they've always been solid defensively, man. They always been solid. That's always been the Pittsburgh Steelers calling is the defensive side of the ball, bro. And I'm looking at them and I'm like, bro, this is this defense is literally, literally carrying this team to what? What are they? Seven and seven all of a sudden? Seven on seven or eight on seven? Whatever their record is, man. I'm looking back. I'm like, how in God's green earth does the Pittsburgh Steelers got a winning record or 500 record right now with this team? With Big Ben as the quarterback, I'm just, I'm stunned. And this, that, that's, with me being so stunned, I shouldn't be. Because I'm like, you know what? You know what, man? They got Mike Tomlin, bro. They got Mike T, man. And Mike T look forward to situations like this, man. Mike T is one of the one of those rare breed, man. He gets, he's at his best when his back is against the wall, man. Mike T is at his best when everybody's like, you can't do it, man. And I'm looking at the Pittsburgh Steelers. You got an old-ass quarterback, man. This shit is huge. It's like, and like every time I watch the Pittsburgh Steelers game, I, I laugh in the first half. Because Big Ben do some old man shit. Y'all see when he try to sneak with our fourth and, fourth and inches or whatever? And Big Ben try to do a quarterback sneak, man. <laughs> that was the like funniest shit ever, man. <laughs> But then it's like at the end of the games on the fourth quarter, I'm looking at this score. I'm like, how the fuck did they do this, man? I'm confused. I'm confused. Like, I don't know how the Pittsburgh Steelers are winning ball games. I really don't know. I know y'all call me the guru. I know I'm the guru. And I know I'm supposed to figure this shit out. But damn, bro. Damn, bro. I'm looking at that. I, I can't figure it out, man. But I love watching it play, though, man. I love watching it play. One thing I could tell you about the Pittsburgh Steelers organization, man. One thing I love about it, man, they know and they have identity. And their identity is defense. Their identity is toughness. Their identity is aggressive football play. And every single Sunday, regardless who's the, who the, it could be Josh, it could be Big Ben, it could be um, Mason Rudolph. I don't care who the quarterback is, who the player is. But one thing we're going to say about the Pittsburgh Steelers, man, every single Sunday, man, with Mike Tomlin leading them, they're going to fight you, they're going to scratch you, and they're going to do everything they can, and they're going to punch you in the face. Man, the Pittsburgh Steelers, man, I just, it's like, it's just dawned on me. I, it was like, I always wanted to bet against the Steelers because I don't know what Ben does. I don't know. The Najee Harris, the running back, it's like he got some sweet feet. But it's like there's nothing really artistic about the Pittsburgh Steelers. I guess that's what I'm getting at. There's nothing artistic about them. It's just an ugly, ugly, ugly games they play. They win ugly. Everything about the Pittsburgh Steelers is U-G-L-Y. And they don't have no alibi because they ugly. What, what? They ugly. <laughs> Oh, man, the Google, I'm telling y'all, man, I'm a cheerleader, I'm a podcaster, I am everything you want me to be, dog. G to the U to the R to the U.